Ah, the human body. It's just so interesting and equally disgusting with all the organs in it. However, despite the gross squishy stuff inside of us, it can do some interesting things. It can curve, concave, stretch, and bend. Although most people can easily touch their toes, do a flip, or do the splits, there are some things most people can't even imagine doing. Few people around the world can do these weird, unthinkable things, and that's why today on Top 5 Best, we're going over the top 15 things most people can't do. Let's begin, shall we? We are currently giving away an iPhone 7 Plus and 30 Google Play cards and 30 iTunes cards. Now, if you want to be entered into this giveaway, make sure you subscribe right now, leave a like on this video, and comment down below your favorite part of the video. If you are not subscribed, guys, you cannot be entered, so press that subscribe button right now and smash a like on this video. Also guys, make sure you turn on notifications right now, that little bell next to the subscribe button. If you do, you will be entered into our giveaway, and it will give you a huge chance of winning. Number 15. Raise one eyebrow. In order to get a point across to another person, most people use facial expressions. Some people use their fists, but most people use facial expressions. In fact, please use your facial expressions. These facial expressions range from smiling to simply raising one's eyebrows. Although this may sound simple, most people can't raise one eyebrow by itself. Now you may be thinking to yourself, yes I can, but as some of you may be trying now, you can't. People call the raising of the one eyebrow the eyebrow cock. The raising of one eyebrow is the universal symbol of skepticism. It's like some saying, oh really, although you're watching this video right now, you're still trying to raise your one eyebrow, aren't you? There is a way to learn how to raise one brow. You simply start by keeping one eyebrow down with one hand and holding one up with the other. Keep practicing this in the mirror so you can detect the correct muzzle movement to obtain one eyebrow up. Number 14, Gleeking. Although this next ability may sound disgusting, there's only a few people who can actually gleek. Gleeking is also known as gleeting, or glicking is like spitting, but it is not quite exactly like spitting. This term gleeking means projecting saliva from the submandular gland upon compression of the tongue. Basically, the saliva simply shoots out from underneath the tongue with the help of the salivary glands. Just think of it as being able to control how much your mouth produces and releases saliva. The majority of the time, gleeking is involuntary, but there is a way to learn how to gleek with just a little research. Man, you become like a saliva version of the Dilophosaur from Jurassic Park. <laughs> Number 13, lick your elbow. Many people can easily bend their arm or elbow. Most people can also stick their tongue out, but most people can't do them together. That's why the next up on our list of weird, funky things most people can't do is lick their elbow. Although this may sound easy, that is not the case. It's just about impossible for most people to lick their elbows. Try it now. Make sure you're alone, though, or you may look like a complete idiot. That's because this is a rare ability that only a few people spread throughout the world can actually do. It's obviously not so impossible for some people. Supposedly, Guinness World Records gets about five claims a day from people who think that they're special just because they can lick their elbows. Number 12, Twitch Your Nose. For this next weird ability, we head back up into the face area, smack dab in the middle, right to the nose. Nose twitching became noticeable was when Bewitched star Samantha Stevens began to twitch her nose during filming. Her nose twitch became a sort of trademark for Bewitched. Nose twitching can also be involuntary and can be symptoms of a serious medical condition. Some people have trouble flaring their nostrils for the same reason. However, as with several items on this list, it's something that can be learned. Worth doing, too, as it's a pretty endearing little trick. Maybe people will compare you to a cute little rabbit or some other creature. Number 11, wiggling your ears. When most people think of wiggling a body part, they think toes or fingers and even your butt. But you would never think of wiggling your ears now, would you? Your cats can do it and so can the hippo and Jeff Goldblum. But only a few other people in the world can wiggle their ears. Although you can train yourself to wiggle your ears by simply isolating your ear wiggling muscle. You may be able to wiggle your ears, but it won't be that impressive if you have to raise your eyebrows or look awfully surprised every time. You may not be able to move your ears without moving your scalp, but you should be able to learn to move without moving your eyebrows. Practice wiggling your ears without moving any other parts of your face. It's a lot harder than it seems. Number 10, sneeze with your eyes open. When you sneeze, you immediately clench your eyes shut and cover your nose and mouth. Well, what if that's not the case for everybody? Some people when sneezing can keep their eyes wide open. Now most of you are thinking, if you did force open your eyes, would your eyeballs pop out when you sneeze? Well, the answer is no. Your eyes are actually quite secure and your eye sockets aren't connected to your nose at all. So, although a sneeze can erupt from your nose in an explosive 200 miles per hour, it can't transfer this pressure into your eye sockets to dethrone your eyeballs. So yes, there are a few people who can do this, so if you are one of those people, let's hope your eyes stay in their socket. Number 9, putting your fist in your mouth. 
When people think of things going in their mouth, they think food, but definitely not your fist. The majority of the population can only get half or barely a quarter of their fizz into their mouths. Seriously, they've done studies on this stuff. Successfully fitting your entire fist in your mouth usually requires both a large mouth and small hands. Although the steps for putting your fist in your mouth are easy enough. Number one, make a fist. Two, insert into mouth. Most people can't do it. Majority of the people who can do this are women and the other few men who are able to do it either have small hands or big mouths, or maybe even both. Number eight, writing a number six while moving your foot clockwise. Okay, even I have to admit this one is definitely a weird entry. The first thing most people were taught when learning multitasking is pat your head and rub your stomach at the same time. Making the multitasking of patting your head and rubbing your stomach even harder was to do each part in opposite directions. Nowadays, when people do fun little multitasking actions, they are completely more complex. The multitasking that people are doing today is riding a six and moving your leg clockwise at the same time. It sounds simple, but will completely trick your mind while trying to do this. It might take a while, but you are able to learn how to do this after some practice. Number seven, touch your nose with your tongue. Most people can't touch the tip of their nose with their tongue. In medicine, the ability to touch the tip of your nose with your tongue is known as a Gorlin sign. Approximately 10% of the population can actually perform this act. The ability to do this is actually a genetic trait, although there has been a few cases of people actually learning to touch their nose with their tongue. The only reason this small 10% of people can actually do this is due to the extreme lengths of their tongues. Their long tongues give them the ability to reach their nose. Number six, touching your chin with your tongue. Ah, not the tongue thing. When someone licks their tongue out, they usually do it to tease someone, or maybe it's a game, but some special people can actually touch their chin with their tongue. Just like the previous weird body ability, this ability to touch your chin with your tongue also requires a lengthy tongue. This act became infamous from Gene Simmons from KISS. At his concerts, the celebrity would stick out his tongue and go completely wild with it, making it a huge trend back in the day. If you have a lengthy tongue, maybe you could touch your chin or your nose with your tongue. Who knows? Eh? Eh? Okay, I'll go away. Number five, tongue tricks. My god, there's a lot of tongue stuff in this. While we're still on the subject of tongues, there are a few tricks that most people can't do. Can you split or roll your tongue, perform a reverse T, flip your tongue 180 degrees, or make shapes like a spaceship or a clover leaf? Between 65 and 81% of people on Earth have this strange and seemingly arbitrary talent. Tongue tricks are debated on being genetic, but arguably others don't think so. Although a really pointless skill to have, it does make for some great party tricks. Number four, double jointed. Double jointedness, also known as hypermobility, is when the joints stretch out further than normal. Some hypermobile people can bend their thumb backwards to their wrist, bend their knee joints backwards, put their legs behind their head, and perform other contortionist tricks. Double jointedness is actually more common than you may think. Around 10 to 25% of the population is double jointed. Although many may be double jointed, some people who are double jointed can't do all the bending and twisting of certain body parts that others may be able to do. It can be even something so little as being able to move some fingers farther than regular people. Number three, eating a spoonful of cinnamon. Originally known as the cinnamon challenge, this next trick sounds simple but can get pretty spicy. It's simply eating a spoonful of cinnamon. Round cinnamon may be a tasty baking addition, but it's impossible to eat on its own for most people. We don't suggest trying this at home. When eating cinnamon, the cinnamon can coat and dry the mouth and throat, resulting in coughing, gagging, vomiting, and inhaling cinnamon itself can lead to throat irritation, breathing difficulties, and risk of pneumonia or a collapsed lung. Although this is dangerous, many people are successful in eating a full spoon of cinnamon. It's weird to see such a strange and dangerous thing lead to what used to be such a massive and popular trend on the internet. Number two, tickling yourself. We all have ticklish spots that friends and loved ones love to zero in on. Being tickled makes us laugh, squirm, and sometimes even more. And if you're anything like normal people, it makes you reflexively punch and kick anyone within reach. On paper, it might sound easy to do, but in practice, it's near impossible to genuinely tickle yourself to the point of laughter. This is because you will always brace for the touch. The mind immediately goes into defense mode, and your body doesn't react the same way as if someone else was actually in genuinely tickling you. Unless there is a disconnect between you and your subconscious mind, your touch will always be anticipated. Number one, putting your foot behind your head. Finally and lastly on our list of weird things the human body can do is the ability to place your feet behind your head. In order to put your foot behind your head, it requires extreme flexibility. Simply placing both legs behind one's head may come and sound easy to some gymnasts or to Sheen Estevez from Jimmy Neutron, but to an average Joe, this task would be completely impossible. Even if you were to practice and stretch every single day, this is not guaranteed.